Pon, pon, pon Gap Sumnida? Sum, Sumnida. Sumnida was the last part. Let's see. Panga, Panga, Sumnida. Nice to meet you. In. This is it. This is totally it. It's like a techno version. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think so. It's coming out. <laughs> so, at the end of every day, we'd typically go out to eat. All the places we went to were specific to, or unique to just tourists. But yeah, dinner was interesting. One time we went to a place where we started eating and, and a lady came out and started singing karaoke um, to just us. I mean, we were the only ones there. Uh, so that was interesting. Yeah, so we get to uh, the DPRK, we run a race the next day see a couple things, go to a couple museums, a library. Then we went on a little road trip, three hour drive to the DMZ, there where we stayed at a really strange abandoned hotel. Then we went, I think it was the next day then, yeah, where we went to the Atrocities of the American Museum. This is Shinton Museum. In the late autumn of 1950, the U.S. imperialists occupied Sinton County for a time. The aggressors brutally killed over 35,000 local people, a quarter of the county inhabitants, in 52 days. The museum exhibits materials related to the murder, deadly weapons and remains of the incidents. You know, very detailed scenarios. You know, there was one where a guy was hammering a stake into a, a, a woman's head. There was one where um, the Americans were ripping a North Korean in half, essentially pulling him by his arms and legs with cattle. There was one where a guy was, an American soldier was cutting off a lady's breast. I mean, this, this was, it was what America has done to North Korea. It was very unique, I think, for us, our group in particular, because all of us were Americans. So I think Justin said it best when he turned to me and he said, you could cut the tension in here with a knife. Very interesting experience, very enlightening, I would say, for understanding their culture and how they're brought up and the kind of um, information that they're fed, essentially. And as far as to its validity, I mean, what do I know, you know? Who knows? what could have or did happen. My gut would say that a lot of that stuff didn't happen how they told it, but I definitely wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. That's my opinion. I don't know. I don't, you know, unless you were there, I don't know if you'll have, anyone will ever know really what happened, but uh, um, that's what they tell everybody, that there that happened. And regardless of whether it happened or not, they really, they focus on that a lot. But anyways, after that we left. So another thing that we did when we were in the city was we went to this museum, not museum, I don't know, it was a science and art, or science and math center. And this place was pretty much, I think it was for students. It was kind of unclear exactly who goes there to use it, but I'm pretty sure it was for students. And it was this very architecturally extravagant building with tons of computers. So in this room here are 500 computers. Just a very unique, attractive layout. Very few people on the computers, actually. It was actually kind of strange, just the whole setup of, I mean, it was a really sweet looking place. Um, but in general, I mean, we, there were just different rooms. You, you went through a room where they, it was for kids, and so they had a bunch of, you know, weird science experiments or math things. One of the things I remember was uh, a periodic table where they had rifles that you could shoot 
um, elements whenever they asked you which one it was. There weren't actually very many people there studying. Um, it was kind of just a strange place. So at the end of the tour of the science and math place, uh, we go into this room where they've got the visitor books like they have at other places that we've gone and visited where you can write something if you're so bold. One of, our, one of the guys in our group wrote something that it turned out they didn't like. Um, and like we had seen before, they translated right away and he, he actually told us what he wrote as we were on our way out. And I remember thinking, it did make sense to me. Um, <laughs> or whatever sense it did make, I didn't think it was funny. 